Hello friends, Sarah from The Charming Detroiter here. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different from most of my other videos. I wanted to kind of start doing maybe like a weekly vlog, sharing with you guys some of like the behind the scenes, in the moment kind of things that are going on around here. So this is the first one, so stay tuned. So today is, oh stop it Georgia. <laughs> So today is Thursday and I just got done with work um, so I am going to be doing a little bit of unboxing I thought I would share with you guys and then um, I have to plan our meals for next week I usually like to plan in advance you guys um, may have seen on my blog that I have like a whole thing about menu planning and everything um, I just think it helps to be like so organized you only have to go grocery shopping once a week and that's really great right now with everything going on with the stay-at-home orders in Michigan um, so that can be really beneficial for like limiting um, exposure and like trips and stuff and then later on tonight we're going to be cooking dinner uh we are making uh, spicy chicken katsu sandwiches which is a favorite around here so i will show you guys how we make those before i change and show you guys my like unboxing for the day this is my little outfit of the day benefit of working from home is that i can dress casual so i just have my little ralph Lauren button down and some comfy jeans these are like my favorite jeans top shop jeans are the best. I'm totally a convert. They are stretchy. They are comfortable. I love the high waist. Um, this is the Jamie style. If any of you guys are interested, and they do have them in like darker colors, which I also own. Um, so I would highly recommend. So I got a few, actually now that I'm realizing it, like mostly bottoms. I got some new pants I'm gonna try on. I got a skirt, some other, I can't remember if these are pants or shorts. I think they're pants that I ordered. And then new bathing suit because we are hopefully going on vacation next month, fingers crossed. And then I got a new hat for hopefully vacation as well. And then my mom's birthday gift, which I guess you really can't tell from the box, but she won't see this anyways until after her birthday anyways. <laughs> And it came with a little sample of the Jo Malone. Let's see, these are pear and freesia cologne and then the lime basil mandarin hand and body wash. So excited to try those out. Then I also picked up this Dior Backstage um, Air Flash Radiance Mist. So it says it's a primer and a setting spray, but I primarily plan to use it um, as a setting spray because I really like my Bobbi Brown primer. So I am excited to give this a try as well. Hey, what are you growling for? That we talked about this. We don't growl at the neighbors, honey. Yeah. My two little helpers. Okay, so first up is these Top Shop kind of like trouser pants. Um, these are really nice. I was looking for just kind of like a pair of simple black trousers to wear like for work, but like also I can wear them like out. I really like these. They're very comfortable. They have pockets, which is of course a necessity. <laughs> And then I paired it with this hat that I just picked up from And Other Stories. I love the frayed edges and like the wide kind of band. I did order it partly because I thought that these little ribbon kind of tie thing was really cute. I don't know if it's totally my style, so I'm gonna like try it out. I might also just like either tuck the ribbons up or like remove them um, because I really like this hat otherwise on its own. So super cute. Is awake in here. Say a word of Sophie. Hi, honey. Did you have a good nap, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay, so next up are these like chino kind of khaki like pants, um, capri pants that I ordered um, from And Other Stories, but I'm not sure. Like, I think I might have to. There's my little helper. <laughs> I might have to exchange these or return them. Um, they seem to be like way too big. I think I just ordered the wrong size because I haven't ordered a lot from this store before. And so I'm still kind of locking down the sizes for myself really. Um, they are pretty cute though. They have pockets in the back. Um, I do think that if they were just a little bit more fitted that they would look better and kind of what I had envisioned. Um, but probably I'm gonna have to exchange these if they have the size down from these or return them. So this is where the sizing is kind of confusing to me because this is the same size, but it fits much better. So this is sort of like a silky kind of midi skirt. It does have a lining. And I love this. It's like very kind of fitted um, at the top and then kind of flowing at the bottom, which is like perfect for the summer, I feel like for like an, a summer wedding or like a summer event or 
um, even just like vacation, dinner, um, at a nice restaurant. I think this is perfect for that. I really love the material. It's very soft, so of course it needs a steam, but I think this is a keeper. Okay, and then last up for clothing was this um, ribbed bathing suit from And Other Stories, which is super cute. You think it's cute too? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I normally never buy like any bathing suit that isn't black or white. I'm just super into neutrals when it comes to swimsuits. Then you can wear it with like any cover up. But I saw this blue one on their website and I just like fell in love with it and had to try it. So I just paired it with um, like a cover up kind of um, scarf that I got from Nordstrom's a couple years ago. But I really love the ribbing and the material. And then I love this kind of like twist tie situation. I think it's perfect for spring, summer, vacation. Um, so I'm definitely excited to hopefully wear this on our trip next month. Okay, so that is it for the unboxing. Um, I am going to change into something more comfortable, take my honey bunny downstairs, um, get her some food, and then um, probably work on planning our meals for next week. So I wanted to take a second and show you guys um, like how I plan my um, menus out. So I use this program called Paprika. And basically what it is, is it's kind of an online, not an online, on my computer, um, like recipe book. So I keep all of my recipes in here. I have different categories for them. And it makes it really easy to be able to kind of plan what we want to eat each week and then um, make a, gro a grocery list. So how it works is you have your recipes that you add in here and then um, under the meals tab, you can kind of plan what you want each night of the week where you would just like drag a recipe over or you can also like right click, I think it is. But um, it just makes it so easy to plan things and you can like move things around between nights. Um, I'm still kind of working on planning next week. We've been trying to do a little bit more takeout to try and be like um, supportive of small businesses and restaurants in the area. This was our menu plan for last week, for example. So it's really great um, to kind of plan everything out. So the best part is like when you open the recipe, for example, these dumplings, we had these a couple weeks ago and they were excellent, bon appetit. You can go to this button here and add the groceries to your grocery list automatically, which is amazing. Then you would just click add and it would add everything in there. You can also scale it to be like larger portions if you needed to make more food for people and then it will add that amount to your grocery list. So it's like super helpful. Then you just, I haven't created the grocery list part of our menu yet but then everything will show up here and it's easy for me to add it either to our Instacart or to just have it on my phone um, since I also have the application on my phone. Uh, so when I'm at the grocery store, I just kind of scroll through that and tick things off and then I'm done. It's really great because if I'm at the grocery store and I'm hungry, if you're like me, then you will make impulse purchases. Um, so this helps me to kind of stick to a grocery list specifically and not buy like a bunch of unnecessary things. And then I'm not standing in the grocery store like wondering what I need for dinners this week. Sophie agrees. <laughs> It's gonna take a little bit of time, hopefully it won't take too much time, to put these like flower things together for my mom's birthday. Her birthday is this weekend. We are playing like a Mexican themed fiesta. Well, it somehow has not rained yet. 
Um, but Sophie just went down for a nap, so I'm going to start uh, prepping dinner. Uh, Rob is out running some errands for work, so he should be home soon. So I am making um, spicy chicken katsu sandwiches. So these are like super easy to make and they are such a hit around this household. So basically katsu is like a breaded chicken dish. Um, I believe it's Japanese. And in this recipe, we actually make them and then turn it into like a sandwich um, with like a spicy mayonnaise and some lettuce and they are really tasty. And um, we serve them on milk bread, which is like this Japanese, like a little bit kind of like sweet bread, think like Wonder Bread, but like fancier um, and they are delicious. So let's get started. So this is Japanese milk bread and it is one of the most delicious things. So it's like I said earlier, like a sweet kind of um, Japanese bread. So this is what we're gonna make the sandwiches with. All right, so we just finished dinner and put Sophie to bed. And um, I'm gonna head upstairs, take my makeup off, and then uh, I have some editing to do, um, vlog editing to do before bedtime. All right, friends, so I'm going to leave the vlog there for today and I'll pick it up tomorrow um, to share with you guys some of what we're doing this weekend. Just got done eating dinner and Rob had some yard work to do so um, I decided to set up my mom's birthday tomorrow. So my parents and my sister, my brother-in-law, and my uh, nephew Theo are gonna be coming over for dinner tomorrow. And so we're doing sort of like a Mexican fiesta themed um, birthday party for my mom um, because she loves Mexican. So let me show you guys what I did. So we've got banners, set up the little table here some balloons and like little, I don't know what you call them, like paper fans. 
So I am going to um, jump onto my computer and do some blog work while Rob finishes up outside and then we will see you guys tomorrow. I forgot to show you guys the best part of the night. Dessert. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning friends. So I just got ready and um, we are going to get Sophie up and actually go run some errands. So we have um, a huge day ahead of us. We have a lot of work to do. We're going to be um, doing some work out on the deck. I'll show you guys a little bit later. And then later tonight my family is coming over for my mom's birthday. So um, we have a super packed day so let's get started. If any of you guys have recommendations on like good phone chargers that last a long time. I really liked these kind of rope ones, but they just seem to like break so quickly and I'm really sick of buying replacements. So looking for phone charger recommendations if anybody has any. Get up, yeah. You be good. All right, so first thing this morning is I have to go pick up the cupcakes for my mom's birthday. So I'm really excited to show you guys. They're gonna be super cute. I just picked up the cupcakes from Dimples and these are too cute. Like the little tacos on them. Oh my gosh, I can't. Back in the car, we are headed to, uh, yeah, is that where we're going? Headed to get some breakfast and then um, to Menards to pick up the wood for our planters. There's a lot of wood and that's not even all of it. So you guys might have seen on my Instagram the other day, we have been working on our front yard, weeding everything out, and then we're gonna be planting some new flowers where we had pulled out some plants last year. So let me kind of show you guys around. So when you walk out of our front door, there was this section of like Vinca here, I think it's called. Um, and so you can see some of like the roots that are remaining that we're going to rake out today hopefully um, but we pulled all that out last year and there was like a dead tree and everything so our plan is to finish weeding out this section here where the grass is sort of like infiltrated and then here we're going to plant a bunch of wildflowers and maybe like some lavender and such and then just mulch kind of the rest of this area and then we'll have to mulch over here 
So lots of mulching. And then this front section here, we're thinking we're going to take out. There's a whole bed where there's mulch and some plants and such. Um, and we're thinking we're going to take that out and just sod it and then leave the large trees though. Um, just for like a little bit easier maintenance. We do have quite a lot of property to maintain, so. So my family just got here and um, they're hanging out downstairs. I was just um, finishing up getting ready. I was gonna curl my hair. Um, so first I'm gonna use my Hot Toddy um, heat protectant spray from Dry Bar. Hair done. Now time to touch up my makeup. Okay, so you guys might have seen earlier I was using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And this is the OW1 Pearl color, which I believe is their lightest color. So I'm just going to touch up with a little bit more moisturizer. I love this because it's so easy to use and it's so lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything on my skin, but yet it kind of gives me some nice coverage, especially in the summer. Um, so it's like perfect for this time of the year. And then I'll usually use just a damp beauty blender to kind of blend it out if I need to anywhere. And I'll put on some under eye cream, of course. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream by IT Cosmetics. And I try to apply less under eye concealer now, like the older that I get. Not really that old, but you know, mid thirties, um, because I feel like it just gets so caked under my eyes if I put too much of it on. So I try to get just like this little triangle kind of area. And then also, of course, use some highlighter to really brighten things up. So then I usually cover that up with a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder um, Under Eye uh, Setting Powder. That helps to kind of lock everything in place under there and then also brighten it up a little bit. Also for the summer, I've been loving this um, A La Mode Cream to Powder Luminizer from Unique. So it has a little bit of a shimmer, so I usually don't wear it on like work days or anything, but since my family is over, I'm gonna put a little bit of that too to kind of brighten up my cheekbones. Then I've also been using the Beachfront Bronzer from Unique, which is really nice. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so this is also kind of like a weekend look for me. Okay, and then a little bit of the blush. I actually use this little sample that I got from NARS. I mean, I've been using it still and it's not out yet, but I'll probably buy like a full size one of this color. Um, when it does run out because I really love this color, especially for the spring and the summer. It's really nice. This is um, Orgasm by NARS. And I'm just going to touch up my eyebrows a little bit. So I'm going to use, this is also by IT Cosmetics, their Brow Power um, Eyebrow Pencil. I'm just going to touch up my mascara. This is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. So I almost forgot to show you guys, um, I just started using today the Air Flash Radiance Mist from Dior that I was showing you guys earlier. This stuff is amazing. It's like, um, basically like airbrushes your skin without like using Photoshop. <laughs> so you shake it for a little bit and then close your eyes. And then spray it just at an eight inch distance it says. Um, so it says that it can be used as a primer also, but um, I already like my primer like I said earlier, so. I'm just using it as a setting spray right now and I feel like it really just sort of like blends out your pore area and makes it look amazing. So um, I will keep you guys posted on how I'm liking that product, but so far, so good. Happy birthday, mom. Thank you. This is the birthday girl. How old are you, mom? 30. 30? Okay, she's younger than me. That's <laughs> kind of impossible. 37. <laughs> Just 
All right, friends, so I am gonna leave the vlog there. Um, we're gonna have some enchiladas for dinner and then uh, enjoy some of those cupcakes. And I will see you guys later. Bye.